Hey, this is Ryan from the Code Angler and Outfitter, and today we're going to be tying a flash worm. This is a fire hole 315 hook with an eighth inch tungsten bead. This is a size 12, but you can tie this in whatever size you like. It's more of a check nymph, but it definitely is a really good, really good weight fly and a good point fly for your check nymph rig. I'm using 50 denier Semperfly Nano Silk Thread. So start your shred at the front and tie in a piece of mylar. I'm using medium here. This is just the spooled UTC stuff, but and bring your thread back quite a ways, probably a quarter of the way down the bend, and then come back up to about even with where the barb might be. Maybe it's a little further forward than that, actually. I'm going to wrap this. You're just going to make kind of a little flash tag, almost like a little steelhead fly on this one. And tie that down. And give it just one or two wraps forward. Stuff's a little curlier than I usually like, but. Alright. And once you have that folded back, take and trim off your excess. Bring your shred back up to the front. Tie in a piece of silver wire. We're using small ultra wire here, but like 14 thousandths hens wire would be another good, good choice for this also. And bring your thread back to right where you started or ended the little mylar tag there. And we're going to take some Nature Spirit Natural Hairs Mass Dubbing. I like this stuff because it has just a little bit of synthetic mixed in with it. It dubs really nice and it looks nice and buggy when you're done. And try and make this body pretty skinny. You don't want it. I don't know, if you get them too fat, they don't sink the way you need them to. A lot of times, locally here, you have to have a fly that gets down pretty darn fast to do, do real well. Definitely give the body just a little bit of a, a taper, though, still. You don't want it just totally even. I'll just get that tight down. I'll pretty much go all the way to the bead for now. Just leave just a little bit of room behind it. We're going to put a little hot spot in there. Alright, I'm going to rib it with the silver wire. You probably get four or five ribs out of this, I would guess, on a fly of this size. Tie that down. Trim off your wire there. Then we're going to take some pink hen speck dubbing. It's a lot like ice dub. You can use ice dub too if you want. The spectra dubbing just comes in some different, different colors than the ice dub does. And do just a little hot spot behind the bead. I like giving it a little extra, and then taking and brushing it out just a little bit once you get the fly finished. This makes it look just a little buggier, but something like that. Still keep that even pretty skinny. You can whip finish there. That's the end of the tying part of the fly. And then I just take my stone foe comb brush, which has a bunch of other material stuck to it right now. And just comb out, try and get just the just that pink dubbing. You can give it just a little bit of a kind of a fuzzy head, looks a little more lifelike, I think, but yeah, something like that. It's definitely a good fly, it's really easy, it sinks great. It's good for check nymphing, fishing under an indicator, you can use it as a dropper, blow like a bigger dryer, like a hopper as well, and do really good. So Definitely tie a few up. Thanks.